So we've had werewolves dating back since The Sims 1 days, and let me tell you, I did not play with the werewolves in The Sims 1. The Sims 2, not much, but The Sims 3, I did play quite a few, but I didn't really like them. And over the years, I started not liking playing with the cults since they were kind of meh to me. But in recent years, since The Sims 4, I've been kind of diving back into the older cults from the other games, and I've been really, really enjoying them. And so today is actually the trailer drop for The Sims 4 Werewolves game pack, and I need to see what they look like because ultimately, this might be a deciding factor if I'm going to play with them more than one day because personally the cults they're kind of annoying especially Vladdy Daddy and we all know Vladdy Daddy is a little bit timid and loves a little you know necky neck bite okay besties it's finally time it's finally going to be here oh my gosh I'm so excited ah! <laughs> Ooh. okay here we go trailer Ooh. okay first and foremost okay I'm oh hold up I'm starting, I'm starting to like this. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up. Okay, the world is giving me Granite Fall vibes. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. No way. No way. Okay, I was so curious of what they were gonna transform, but this is like different, different. This definitely gives me Granite Fall vibes. <gasps> no way, we can get bit by werewolves. That's how we get changed. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. She's like, I don't think that. No, no, no. Oh, there's a new door. Wait. So a werewolf lair. Okay. I love that door. By the way, I love all this like decal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. There's no. There's no way. You've got to be joking. There's literally so much stuff in this room that I can't comprehend. I saw a new toddler like bed or something. Oh, so when the moon rises, you change. Okay, I don't, I'm, okay, they're not bad. They're not bad. Oh, that is a very interesting transformation animation. Oh, ooh, there's different types. Okay, I don't know about that one. <gasps> okay, werewolf fights. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. Okay, they seem like humans, but like they're acting like the Sims 3 werewolves, I can definitely tell, but they're a little bit more updated. Okay. Oh, a little siren, okay. Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Wait, tug of war. Wait, this is actually really cool. Oh, and they're running as a pack of wolves. Okay, this is definitely giving me Granite Fall vibes and I'm living for it right now because I love Granite Falls and I like to go there all the time. So this gives me hope. This, this world, ooh, ooh, okay. Run wild, okay. June 16th, that's literally in like two weeks. Oh my God, in the world, okay. That's a lot to handle. <laughs> so honestly, I have to say that this trailer was really cool looking. I didn't expect for it to be this cool because I was very curious on how like the animations would look like, the new build and buy, the general like transformation of, from a, a human to a werewolf, especially a small little moment I saw was a toddler Halloween into the distance, but it looks like it might be like an imitation like they can do with cats and dogs of imitating the animals. But regardless, we're gonna go frame by frame. We're gonna dissect everything in slow mode because there was so much content that we need to see because it's a brand new world and I just need to understand this whole entire pack in all its entirety because we need this today like no joke but first and foremost I have to say that I love this I already know you all know that I love debug debug is my favorite thing of build and buy and so we're getting a new crane in debug some new logs some new fences some new foliage here and there like that speaks to me very much so like honestly that's what I live for every day but to me I have to say when it changes from day to night it looks so spooky and Honestly, right off the bat, we're getting a brand new hair right here, new full body outfit, new trousers, new sweater, new beard, new beard right here. That looks brand new to me. And that's a base game here. Most likely those look like base game glasses. So far, the background looks really good. It's a brand new world. So I'm very, very interested in seeing like how this will look especially like of course in the nighttime so i am over the moon like this looks so cool new stairs maybe new door of course new couch 
new chair, but we're getting some new build and buy items. I love that this more yellow, which is pleasing me. <gasps> Whoa, okay, new object here, new punching bag, new workout equipment, new mirrors, a new shirt, pants, uh, some other pants down here new hair. Like I have to say like, this is so, so cool. I like how everything is so grungy and like torn up and broken because it gives me hope for like an apocalypse type theme of my build. Cause Strangerville and Outdoor Retreat and then this game pad could all work together to make a very apocalyptic build, I find. Oh, a little crack on the floor. That's nice, that's new. Okay. I like that we're getting new workout equipment because I feel like with werewolves, they have broken and abandoned stuff anyway. So it makes perfect sense. Okay. So this is a new world. It looks like we can swim. It has a swimmable area, which is good. Okay. Some new trees in the background. I don't know what that is, but it looks nice. And I see a new hairstyle actually. Ooh. Okay. So I wonder if like at the nighttime, it'll sparkle like twilight sparkling. They don't burn, they sparkle. But I think that at the nighttime, mainly around like the full moon, there will be some type of like sparkle animation in the water. Like I already know at this point, the Twilight fandom is gonna come out the woodworks and really dive deep into this game pack along with the vampire game pack and recreate Twilight in The Sims 4. I'm one of those people, so you best believe it's gonna happen. Okay, so this is the first time that we're actually seeing the, the new Sim from the trailer. We can already tell we're getting collars, which is nice. How many colors? A new type of hair, a new sweatshirt, or I guess shirt, I guess. But it looks like she's running away from like some type of curse. New pants, new shoes. Ooh, a trailer, that's nice. Like this is really nice. Oh, are we getting a new roof texture? That looks, that's a new roof texture but I don't know that's part of build and buy. It might be like debug, whatever, I don't care. But like, if that's a new roof texture, sign me up. New building opportunities please me very much so. So I have to say this looks really nice, especially at the daytime and the nighttime. Oh, we can definitely see it right there, right there besties. Oh yeah, right there, you can definitely see the Sim has like a, this little red mark on their shoulder, trying to figure out, remembering what happened last night, where did I go, why am I here, what's really happening? And I'm assuming it's like a, a flashback memory. It's like, oh my gosh, I got bit, oh no. And so like your arm hurts, and you have to figure out why your arm hurts and you're remembering, wait, I'm a werewolf, who bit me? And so I'm curious because like it reminds me of the vampire game pack where you get bit by a vampire, you start get like the mood lit, you start feeling, you know, achy and drowsy and also weird that you're trying to remember what happened. And so there will be a mood lit attached to this game pack. But I wonder what I'm very, very curious about though, will werewolves have a skill tree like vampires? Because if they don't, I feel like they won't be as fun or enjoyable to play with over time. So I think that if they get a skill tree, it'll be more beneficial, which is great. But it seems that we have new planter boxes, a new full body outfit here, definitely new shirt, this new hair. I posted this screenshot on Twitter a couple of days, like yesterday actually, of like saying, can we take a minute to appreciate this hairstyle right here? Cause it looks so good because I'm not joking, we need more diverse hairs in The Sims 4. And so this is like a step in the right direction, I find. So I'm very, very pleased about this, very much so. But it looks like we also got a new tree with new little trinkets on them as well. Some new debug stuff like lantern, like lighting poles, whatever that's in the background, I don't really know. But I have to say, I am quite pleased about this, but I saw a weird thing. Oh, okay. Okay. I see something here. This is new. So we have one, two, three, four different types of like werewolf heads I see. And they're different types of werewolves, which is good. That's nice. Variety is key. I like that. But now I'm, I'm guessing that the Sim is like, okay, I see, I see my people. I understand. I can get behind this. Oh, is that a new lean animation or what? I don't know. But a new door, some new windows, some new graffiti, a new shirt, new pants, new hair, um, a few other things too. That might be a new wallpaper, but it also might be base game. I have no idea. But yeah, it looks like that we're getting a brand new food that we're probably gonna get for our werewolves and I'm very excited, but I don't know if our Sims will be able to eat this if they're not a werewolf because raw meat, probably not good for the faint of heart for a Sim. Look at that new 
decor, some new pictures in the wall, mainly graffiti like the ones we got from City Living. But can we just take a minute and appreciate this entire thing? First of all, first of all, a were gnome, werewolf gnome, new bar, new fireplace, new plant, new plant, new photo of Vladimir Stride with his face scratched out. So that's pretty cool. We're definitely getting a new chair, new bookcase, some new trinkets here, new couches, new um, shelving for our TVs, planters, armchair, relaxer chair, new end tables. Like this looks so cool. But I like the fact that there is like a Vlad with his face scratched out though. We're definitely getting some new wall decals for like scratches on the wall, new toddler bed, new bunk bed, new computer desk, new computer chair, table, Blarfy all size down. I mean, look at like, what, hello? Like, can we just take a minute and appreciate that? New ceiling fan, new desk, like two new desks right here, a single one and then like a two tile one, new stairs, new half wall maybe wallpaper, I don't know. Um, Definitely new wallpaper over here with some scratches in the wall, bookcase, posters, decals. What is that? What is that? Is Wait a minute, are we getting a brand new telescope? Are we getting a smaller telescope in The Sims 4? If so, I am very pleased. But this telescope right here, I'm living for that because you know the big gigantic telescope we have in The Sims 4. I never use it, it's too big. I don't have a need for it, but now I have a need for a telescope, a smaller one, which is why I'm here for this one right here. But I just love how all is so cute. We also even have a new bassinet for babies. Like you can see here, a new bassinet for babies which is so freaking cool. I love all of these little, mm. oh, I love it so, 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 so much. Oh, even a new floor as well. Oh, a new floor, a new gym, a new gym floor, new workout equipment, new lights, new tables, new uh, doors. This actually might be a new wallpaper now that I think about it, a new brick because I see this at the bottom. Okay, some new foods that we can definitely eat for sure. But this looks really cool. Oh, a new clock. Okay, some new little trinkets that floats. Okay. It's like she's finally coming her own. Like I can finally be who I want to be. That is so cool. And so when the moon rises, I'm guessing to a full moon, your sim starts to change. Okay, so this might be getting a headache, I'm guessing. And then your sim starts to transform. Like I see like this red aura around the sim and they start transforming with slobber coming out of their mouths. Their nails start to grow most likely. And I guess they start changing and then go down to the floor. Okay. Their nails dig into the ground, red smoke everywhere. And then they transform into a werewolf. Okay. So that's a different animation because usually in The Sims 4 with vampires, they just spin around in the air and they become vampires. So this is definitely a new animation and it kind of makes sense for werewolves anyway, because like they're, they're werewolves, they go to the ground. They don't really do much in the air. So Makes sense. This hairstyle right here looks very fantastic, by the way. I've seen this hair before, but I don't remember where I've seen it, but it looks really, really nice. But I have to say, I'm really deeply in love with all the outfits that we have here. A new necklace, a new earring, some flannel stuff. Okay, definitely captures the werewolf vibe. All torn up furniture, all torn up clothing, rugged, you know, turn down, tear down outfits. But here's my thinking. I'm assuming that this is like the alpha werewolf. There's different animations for each one. So I'm guessing, I'm thinking that there might be a skill tree and based on your skill, where you are in the skill tree is what you are as like, you know, as a werewolf. Also what's even cooler though, I was, I'm curious. The Sim has, or this werewolf has blue highlights in their fur. So either it captures whatever hair color they have, or we can add bits and pieces to their fur to kind of capture their personality. So I'm curious about that. I don't know, but still very, very nice. Okay, we have a kiss inspired rock look here. Maybe a new lean animation. Wait, hold up, stop right now. This looks really cool. I like this two-tone ombre look of the fur. Even the pants as well looks really nice. Even the nails too. But I see a lot of vampire posters and prints with their faces scratched off because wearables, vampires. They got a few going on, which we don't like. So I'm guessing that with the werewolves, you can wash them, they'll shake. They're not really pets per se. They can pee on the ground literally wherever they want, marking their territory, which is very weird, scratching themselves. This is what I was talking about. This right here, this toddler, which is so cute. 
oh my gosh, okay, this toddler has a new little onesie and you can definitely see this, like this toddler Halloween. So what I'm guessing is that toddlers are not werewolves until they kind of are teenagers, but they have werewolf tendencies like they had in The Sims 3. Because if you don't remember, with The Sims 3 Supernatural um, expansion pack, toddlers and kids had werewolf tendencies and they would do like different things sometimes. And I think that they kind of replicated that into The Sims 4 where toddlers and kids have like werewolf you know tendencies well they'll like you know growl or have a little animation or do whatever they do like this right here definitely screams like they really implemented early childhood development for like occults but i'm very curious though what if werewolves and vampires start fighting what will happen what kind of animation what kind of like you know moodlet will they get out of it i don't know but, oh, this is a new shirt. I like that ripped up one. So we can definitely find collectibles in the ground and your sim can literally go underground and go somewhere else and leave. So maybe another mode of transportation of traveling, maybe, I don't know. But I do like the variety of like werewolf type textures that we have, like the fur is different, the ears are different, the eyes are different. So we're definitely getting a lot of customability with the werewolves with how they would be looked and shaped. So yeah. Also, this little seems like a new um, abandoned caravan bar type thing where your Sims can get some drinks, some food. Maybe your Sims can go into here, but this just might be a general like whole build of like the caravan that you got from like, you know, My Wedding Stories or City Living or like the other packs that have like these um, food stalls or like single bars, but this looks really good. But I wonder though, will it only be affected by the full moon or can your Sims change into a werewolf at any time? If that's the case, that'd be cool. And there's also like another like secret area where your Sims can go up to a full mountain and howl at the moon as werewolves do, as you can see here. I mean, honestly, this looks so freaking cool, but it looks like we have some key features that we can definitely look at here today. So it says life on the wild side. What big teeth you have. Transform into a werewolf and embrace or fight your animalistic nature. Beyond a rocking of fear, some form werewolf sim will have a unique temperament and abilities, be affected by the phase of the moon and experience were 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 wait, and experience wolf spectic and experience wolf pacific life events. Mm, okay, life on the wild side. Okay, I can get behind that. Alpha or lone wolf. Okay, so I was right. I was right. So there might be like some type of like tier system where we had like with vampires and spellcasters and also like the get famous thing. So alpha or a lone wolf. But what's in between of those two? Craft your werewolf identity where you were you bitten? Were you born into a werewolf family? However it happened, now you've got to decide what type of werewolf you want to be. Find a pack to prowl the night with, meet a faint mate on top of Howling Point, or sun, or sun a all all that and try make it as a lone wolf. Oh, so you can make it as a lone wolf or join a pack. That's really cool. Okay, okay. Uh, lycanthrope lore. Oh my gosh, Plumbella would love this lore. Lycanthrope lore, I love this. Okay, okay, very good. So here's my thing. I am a fanatic when it comes to like werewolves and vampires because all my life I've been watching those movies like Twilight, Underworld, Van Helsing. Um, I mean, there's so many other movies like, I mean, Teen Wolf, Vampire Diaries, the originals, Legacies. Like, I mean, there's so many like type of occult type movies I've watched and TV shows I've watched over the years of my entire life. Oh, even Blade. Blade was a, a vampire as well. We can't forget about the iconic OG Blade, first and foremost, always. Regardless, I love lore. I love vampires and werewolves more than anything. And so this speaks to me on a whole hardly level. But like in Throp Lore, there's a lot of there's a lot to learn about werewolves and their origins. Unravel werewolf, vampire, and spellcaster lore as you read books, discover secret tunnels, grow your collection, and interact with dozens of Moonwood Mill. Ooh. Oh, denizens. So like citizens, but denizens because they live in a den. That is really cool. I wonder what the skill will be like. Like, what is the level of the skill? Maybe up to level five, maybe up to level 10. I don't know. But learning about the lore of like vampires and werewolves and spellcasters, because spellcasters are like witches and wizards and they spell, you know, make curses or whatever they might do. And then vampires, they can bite you and stuff like that. So, ooh, okay. This is getting me really, really excited about werewolves now. I did not expect for me to like really enjoy them, but I, from what I've read and seen so far, I'm quite pleased. 
at the moment, yeah. But the last thing that we have here today is another blog post apparently, and it says, embrace the full moon. Unleash your beastly side in The Sims for a Werewolf game pack. A full moon shines down on a formerly bustling mill town. Alongside the river that cuts into two, a thick fog washes over an abandoned lumber equipment and disappears into an untamed wilderness. From the rocky uncropping above, a howl is heard. It's musical let go, breaking its stillness of the world beneath it. And then another bays from the woods and another from the lake until a prowling pack of wolves emerges from the gloomy mist. But these aren't just any wolves, they're werewolves, majestic and fierce, like nothing you've ever seen before. Ooh, I like that. Once upon a time, Moonwood Mills was filled with a with the bustle and sound of the nearby lumber mill. Maybe Evergreen Harbor, maybe Granite Falls, who knows? Today, the town is transformed. The rusted shells of its former industry pr provide cover of a handful of mysterious dozens who sound out its wilderness surrounded community. Basking in its remote and anonymous nature, it's a place with a hidden history and those who live here know what it's what if you dig deep enough you're bound to discover some fascinating secrets. Secrets? Oh okay. So what's there to do around town? There's plenty to sink your teeth into. Do, during the full moon you might notice a crescent shaped lake Lunvik as a magical simmer to it, making it the perfect time to try to catch an luminous luna fish and climb up the Halloween point that looms over the lake to pluck even the rarer moon petal flower, which maybe could be a good flower to either become a werewolf or not become a werewolf anymore. Or if you're feeling brave and looking for an adventure, delve into the tunnels that run under the town, a network known as the underground, to try and uncover secrets to find quicker routes for navigating back and forth. The town's pack members are always up to a good spar at the pit, assuming you have the claws for it. In, Moon, in Moonwood Mill, there are always plenty to do, especially if you're a werewolf. Heed the advice of the locals though, stay out of Greg's way and you'll be fine, you'll be okay. Greg, oh, an alpha, I see. But look at all this stuff, it's so cool. Create your own werewolf, okay. A werewolf can be, can be many things, fierce, playful, dramatic, cuddly, the list goes on. And the Sims for werewolves come in all shapes and sizes, colors, and themes. In Creative Sim, you can fully customize your werewolf to tell the story you want. All werewolves start with a beast and a sim form like they are linked, providing priority to matching up changes of the body shape, clothes, and facial features to other form. But that's not to say that you can't create a beast of your very own. Unleak the forms and make them as distinct as you would like. Whichever destruction you take, edit your edit their face structure, ears, eyes, tufts, and more. Pay on a medicine scar to tell a story of a dramatic fight between opposing pack members or cover them with silliest jellyfish. You'll have full control over the beast, uh, beast form pelt, so create one as a traditional or as widely expected as you are. Ooh, okay, so we can definitely pay on them like we can do with the cats and dogs. Okay, that's cool. That's good, that's good. Mm. Finding a community in a pack. Moonwood Mill is a home of two distinct werewolf packs. The Moonwood Collective, a pack of seasoned rustic werewolves that value tradition, community, and self-control, and the, the Wild Fangs, a scrappy free-spirited crew of rebellious werewolves that value self-improvement, self-acceptance, and are inspired to inspired by punk and grunge aesthetics. Oh, I like that. Self-acceptance, self-improvement. We love that for them. We do. To join each each either one, visit the hangout. To join either one, visit their hangout and get to know the pack. Once you're on good terms, the pack alpha may challenge you with a few you trials, okay, I was right. Complete those and you're in. The work doesn't end there, however. Joining either pack comes with its own obligations, uh, hierarchies, and do's and don'ts. As a member of the pack, you represent something greater than yourself. And someday, if you play for the pause right, you might even become the alpha and represent the pack itself. Can we create our own pack though? That's the real question. I would love to know that. Life as a werewolf in is wild. With every howl, scratch, and transformation, a werewolf can grow their powers to unlock new abilities such as running swiftly on all fours, marking their territory, lunar um, resistance, and even immortality. Oh, okay. 
But that's not all stakes and sparring. As their powers grow, so do the unique ways in which the, that werewolf views the world. These are represented by a growing number of temperaments, each of which distincts how and how the sim furry may grow. Ooh. Speaking of furry, it probably is time to talk about the most important aspect of every werewolf's life. At all times, a werewolf furry is growing as using your unique werewolf powers, sparring with other werewolves, hanging out in beast form, being under the full moon or doing behavior that conflicts with your temperaments will push furry to increase more quickly. So furry is like the power that you had, you know, they can grow. Basically, that there might be a skill tree thingy. Once maximized furry is is reached, a transformation is intimate. So always be mindful of your furry because it might just come back to bite you. Oh, okay. The lore of Moonwood Mill. As you spend more time in Moonwood Will, you'll discover hidden knowledge of its magical roots. Meet, meet, the, meet with Wolfgang. Ooh, lore of Moonwood Mill. As you spend more time in Moonwood Mill, you'll discover hidden knowledge about its magical roots. Meet with Wolfgang, the local librarian. Wolfgang? I mean, there's a wolf gang in, I think, in The Sims 4 Get Together. Windenburg, hello. Uh, in the center of town and check out the werewolf-themed books to unravel truths of Moonwood's mysterious beasts. Though everyone is in town knows that to find the beast secrets, you'll have to head out into the neighborhood and dig or explore a little deeper for long lost books and items. If it's not your style, try interacting with the locals. It's not about joining a pack. Once you get to know them, Christopher, Rory, and their pack members will each reveal their own past and unique perspectives on werewolf history and philosophy. Even the town's only non wear dozens have something to share. Head over to talk to Celine Lopez, the owner of Grim Tooth Bar and Bunker, one of the lots built in partnership with the community creator James Turner. Oh, former known as the Sim Supply. There you can find the Werebees Remedy. Disclaimer, not the cure of lycanthropy. That's another thing entirely. Or an order a drink and some food. You'll be pleasantly surprised by the impressive area array of meaty options. There's also Greg, of course, but we don't recommend trying to pry information from him. You wouldn't want to risk it, right? You really want it. You don't want to risk your, you know, your life to talk to Greg. He's a little bit crazy, you know, a little bit, you know, sus, I find. Now that we've seen basically everything, I wasn't really expecting for the title to change to anything but The Sims 4 Werewolves, like The Sims 4 Vampires, but I have to say, at least we know no, it's simple, it makes sense, and it's marketable, I find. But regardless, The Sims 4 Werewolves, we have two descriptions here, and it says, How will the night away in The Sims 4 Werewolves game pack? Your sim will transform, join packs, run wild under the light of the full moon, explore the world of Moonwood Mill, and discover the secrets of werewolves and as you navigate your new lycanthrope life. Sims will unlock new abilities, manage new temperaments, and maybe even meet a new faint, fainted mate. Ooh, okay. So this is the official cover art. Okay, I can get behind this. I like that. Now, can we take a minute to appreciate this hairstyle right here? Because I am not joking. This hairstyle is fantastic. Can we get more of this, please? And thank you, Sims team. Thank you very much. But I am honestly like really, really interested in seeing how this will look in my game, especially how they will interact with all my other Sims. Like, do they have to live in Moonwood Mill or, you know, can they live it literally anywhere? Is it only restricted to the full moon that they can transform or not? So I am very, very curious about all of that. But this whole entire like thing is so fantastic. Like the tug of war, the little toddler, the where, you know, gnome is also very cool. And like all this right here, like Vlad, his face is literally scratched out. And I find that very funny. You know, they have a few going on, but we have a new door, some new werewolf lore animation pop up. I mean, we have some new stuff over here, a dead cow plant, some new posters, a new uh, grill, or I guess new bar. That looks like a base game fireplace, but that also might be new. I'm assuming, I'm guessing, I don't know. But I do like all the new chairs that we're getting. I'm liking the new like style of chairs that we're getting in the game. Cause this reminds me, like this style right here reminds me of the new kit, the little campers kit that we got recently. Like the painting is similar, but fits more of like the style. Also over here, that's a base game drink. Never mind, that's not new. But honestly, I'm really liking the hairstyles too. The hair looks so good. Even like the little tips and the ombre. Okay, that looks good. That's good. Okay. Oh, 
okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay. I love this werewolf and this outfit. Oh, new nails, new shoes, new um, fingernail polish and toenail polish. So we have different styles of werewolves. Werewolves with freckles and glasses. New werewolf over here with some makeup. Oh, okay. Wait, this is actually nice. New nose ring, new teeth. Okay, some new scars that we can definitely have for our werewolves to wear. I mean, this looks so, so cool. Even the new rings over here and the bracelets. Oh, now that's nice. That is real nice. Like, look at this. This this werewolf right here. He looks mean as ever. But his eyebrows, his nose, his eyes, his shirt, his necklace, the pants. I mean, even the scratches on the leg. So we're definitely getting a lot of new, like, type of creatives and things that will really make them what vampires, should, like, I mean, werewolves should look like. So that looks really, really good. This reminds me of Scooby-Doo and I don't know why. It reminds me of a dog. But regardless, either way, as always, I do hope you all enjoy today's, you know, trailer reaction, dissecting everything, because personally, now that we have more information about The Sims 4 Werewolves, I'm actually really excited to see what they're gonna look like in game, especially the live stream that we're gonna be getting on June 10th, which is not that long away. So personally, I need more of a deep dive in that live stream to fully understand how to become a werewolf, what it looks like in Create a Sim, pretty much everything under the sun from toddlers to eldership especially just how they all interact together with especially with the other occults but regardless let me know all your thoughts and opinions about the sims for werewolves what do you think what are your thoughts what are you looking forward to are you gonna get it are you not gonna get it all that jazz but regardless as always i do hope you all enjoyed it and i will see you all in the next video bye